Don't get me wrong, I love Mary Kondo and I love the aesthetic look of color coordinated clothes and pantry items, but realistically, this is not a sustainable way to live. And I wanted to make this video to share with you some of my top tips and tricks on how to not only make your home look beautifully organized and aesthetically pleasing, but also visually declutter your space, make your daily routine a lot more simplified and easier, improve the accessibility of the items that you use on a regular basis. And most importantly, these are things that are easy to maintain. Just like with all major changes in your life, such as your diet or lifestyle, you wanna create small habits that are easy to replicate and become a part of your daily routine to improve the overall flow. It is so much more than just keeping an organized home. It's making your life more simplified and improving the overall flow of your routine. All right, so I'm just gonna jump right into the video. The first thing that I have been doing for the last several years that has made such a huge difference in how I get dressed every day and find things in my wardrobe and keep my closet looking clean and organized is my velvet hangers. These hangers are not just your regular average velvet hangers. So it's not just the fact that these hangers are made from velvet so it prevents your clothing from slipping off and falling on the floor. We've all experienced that before and we all know how it leads to clutter and chaos. So not only does it keep your clothing on the hanger, but these velvet hangers are super slim and compact so it actually saves you a lot of space. And when all of your hangers look exactly the same, it just visually creates a more aesthetically pleasing wardrobe. So I swear by my velvet hangers. I get mine on Amazon. I also use miniature versions of these velvet hangers in my kids' rooms to keep their clothes all organized and clean. So my first tip is to get rid of all of your clunky, bulky, mismatched hangers, replace them with these beautiful, clean looking velvet hangers and it's gonna make such a huge difference in your closet and you'll thank me later. If you guys were interested, I will link the ones that I personally purchase in the description box down below, as well as the ones that I get for my kids' closets. So as most of you probably know, if you've been following me for a long time, fashion is kind of my thing, it's kind of my passion. And keeping my closet looking beautiful is one of the things that just makes me happy. I used to think that organizing my wardrobe by color was the way to go to keep things looking their best. And although I find that aesthetically, it probably looks better to keep your clothing color coordinated, but it's not the most practical and sustainable when it comes to keeping it that way and also finding what you're looking for. So when it comes to clothes, I find that organizing your clothing by type, such as keeping all of your long sleeve shirts together or keeping all of your sleeveless shirts together, keeping all of your denim together, it's just so much more practical and easier to find exactly what you're looking for. It also helps you keep tabs on what you have so that when you are going out looking for new clothes, you know exactly what you have and what you don't, and you can fill in those gaps a lot more strategically rather than continuing to purchase the same items again and again because you can't find what you're looking for. So categorizing your clothes by type, I find is the best way for me to personally keep tabs on what I have in my wardrobe, and it just simplifies the whole getting dressed process for me and makes it a lot less stressful. When it comes to my shoes, however, I I found that categorizing my shoes by type was not the way to go. I found it a little bit more cumbersome to find exactly what I was looking for. And aesthetically, it's also a lot more pleasing to my eye personally when my shoes are all color coordinated. And I find that it also makes it a lot easier when I'm getting dressed to figure out what color shoes I want to wear with the outfit that I put together. So if you guys have watched my 
closet tour video, you would have noticed that my shoe wall is looking a little bit different than it was in that video because in that video, I had all my shoes categorized by type and now I have them categorized by color and I find that this is a lot more manageable for me. It looks a lot better and it's easier for me to see what I have, what I'm missing and it definitely speeds up the whole getting dressed process for me. So we all have certain spaces in our homes where we like to display items, but sometimes figuring out how to do that in a way that doesn't look cluttered and doesn't keep your eyes scattering back and forth can be a little bit tricky. So my rule of thumb is when you have something like a plain shelf, you wanna make sure that you space out your items evenly. I'm gonna use my closet as an example here again because I have a lot of great examples of how I spaced out my handbags and my sneakers to not only make it look aesthetically beautiful, but it's also functional as well. I can see exactly what I have. I can pull exactly what I need whenever I need it. I'm not rummaging through layers and layers of things to find what I am looking for. And they not only act as kind of functional decor on my shelf, but they also look beautifully displayed as well. If you are decorating something like a bookshelf, the same rule of thumb applies. I find that when you leave space in between the objects that you're putting on display, whether it's a stack of books or vases or both together on the same shelf, you wanna make sure that there's some white space in between so that the light can come through and it doesn't look too cluttered. So sometimes when we are displaying too many different things at once, it can seem a little bit overwhelming and visually very cluttered. So my personal favorite way of kind of cleaning things up and making things look a little bit more organized is just throwing them on a tray. It kind of creates like a little nook, if you will, for the objects that you're putting on display and it kind of organizes them in such a way that visually it looks a lot cleaner and less cluttered. You can get all kinds of different trays depending on the aesthetic of your home. My aesthetic is a little bit more minimal and modern and mixed with transitional. So I personally really love marble trays. I have a lot of marble throughout my home. So it kind of goes hand in hand. I even use marble trays to organize things such as my toiletries. I have a beautiful black marble tray sitting in my shower that helps organize my toiletries in that way. In my closet, I also have this beautiful round tray that organizes all of my candles and incense. And I have a lot of candles and incense. So I find that grouping them and collecting them all in kind of one little area just makes the space look a lot neater and easier to look at. By the way, I know you guys are gonna ask about these candles because I literally have them all throughout my home. I'm obsessed with them. My husband is obsessed with them. They're by this brand called Lazy Royal. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I'm a huge, huge fan of oil perfumery and Okja, which are perfume brands that specialize in making luxury, high quality fragrances made from non-toxic ingredients with essential oils that are inspired by high-end luxury brands such as Maison Francis Kirk de Jean and Labo, Tom Ford, Dolce & Gabbana. So they recently launched a brand of home fragrances in the form of diffusers and candles. They even have car fresheners. And for those of you who don't know, one of my all-time favorite scents is Baccarat Rouge 540. I have been wearing this fragrance for a very, very long time. I own the real one and I also own the Okcha and oil perfumery interpretations and I always, always, always go for the OP and Okcha versions because I feel like they are so much better and so much longer wearing personally on my skin. So when I found out that they were coming with a home collection, I was so excited. So I have their diffusers all over my house. I have their candles all over my house. Their scent Checkmate is their version of Baccarat Rouge 540 and you better believe I have this everywhere. I have the car freshener in my car, I have the candle and I have the diffuser. And guys, when I walk into my closet or my bathroom and it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540, it makes all of my fragrance dreams come true. So I also love Deja Vu. Deja Vu is their interpretation of La Labo Santal 33. So if you love the scent of Santal, you'll love Deja Vu. They have so many incredible scents. Oh, they also have their own in-house scent that they made that smells like 
a Parisian cafe. It smells heavenly. It's so, so good. If you love the smell of coffee, you're gonna be obsessed with this candle. I'm not gonna ramble too much longer about Lazy Royal, but if you guys were interested in luxury high-end candles and diffusers without the luxury price tag, I definitely recommend checking them out. I also happen to get a discount code for you guys so you can save an additional 10% with my code NikkiSky10. And I will leave all of that info on the screen here, as well as in my description box below. All right, so my next tip is when you are putting things on display, I realized that keeping groups of things to a maximum of two or three items is the way to go. It looks the most pleasing to the eye. It looks the most clean. When you have more than three items, it just becomes overwhelming and it clutters the space. So if you have a few skincare products on display and you just remove a couple of them, maybe the ones that you don't use the most frequently and tuck them away somewhere and just leave out the ones that you use the most, it's gonna make such a big difference in your space and decluttering everything and making it look a lot more neat. Another way to instantly make your home look a lot more decluttered and organized is just to keep with a neutral color palette in communal areas. Small pops of color here and there through accessories such as throws and pillows and books is okay, but I found that having having super colorful furniture and a super colorful rug and super colorful decor everywhere, it creates clutter and chaos and your eye just doesn't know where to go. So when you keep majority of the space, like 90 to 95% of the space in a neutral color tone and just accentuate certain things with pops of color, it's gonna look a lot more clean and more organized. We all have drawers, we all have cupboards. Storage is an essential part of living in my opinion, but a lot of the storage that we have in our homes is not being utilized to its optimal potential. There's so many little things throughout my home that I can mention that we have done to kind of maximize the space and make our overall living a lot more functional. So I wanted to mention a couple of things that may help you guys keep all of your things a lot more organized so you know where they are at all times and you can find exactly what you're looking for. So when it comes to small things such as makeup or jewelry or maybe baby clothes, my personal favorite way to organize those little things is in drawers and using compartments for it. So for my makeup, I have these big trays that have little compartments in them where I keep everything organized that I use on a regular basis and I can find exactly what I'm looking for super, super quick. For my baby's clothes, I have the same thing. I have all of my baby's onesies and knotted gowns and socks and everything compartmentalized so I can easily and quickly find what I'm looking for because trust me, there's nothing worse than a fussy baby and not being able to find exactly what you're looking for. When it comes to bigger items, for example, dishes, I know that a lot of us are used to storing our dishes kind of stacked on top of each other usually in a cupboard and I used to do that for years up until we moved into this new house we learned from experience that usually when you have a tall tower of dishes it's just a recipe for disaster especially when you're reaching for something that is way out of your height limit and it just ends up in disaster and broken dishes all over the floor so we learned that having drawers that have these built-in peg separators where you can customize the size of the compartments kind of to fit the dishes that you have has been the best way for us to organize our dishes. It's a lot easier to access. It's within reach. It keeps all of our plates and bowls and serving dishes or whatnot organized and accessible and it's super easy to maintain. These particular drawers were custom built when we were building our house but I am pretty sure that you can find similar options through Ikea and some other custom building companies that specialize in this kind of thing. It is an investment, but I personally think that it's made our life so much easier, especially because there's so much action happening in our kitchen at all times. It has been such a game changer. So I am a strong believer that the items you use on a regular basis need to be easily accessible. They don't necessarily have to be on display somewhere, but they should be somewhere where they are not too 
far out of reach. All of the makeup, for example, and the skincare that I use on a regular basis, it's usually right in front of me. Most of the skincare that I use is out on display on a tray just because I personally like how my skincare products look on the tray. Yes, I have a lot of skincare products and admittedly, I don't use all of them regularly. A lot of them are just the same type of product. Like I have several different toners, several different oils, and I usually just use two or three products on a daily basis based on what my skin needs at the time. But they look a lot more clean and organized because they're all in the same kind of vicinity on a tray. And for me, I'm able to see exactly what I have and what I need. Like I mentioned with my makeup, the makeup products that I use the most regularly are in my top drawer in my little vanity area. So I know exactly where everything is, what I need. I can easily access it whenever I need it. And the makeup and skincare that I don't use on a regular basis, that is usually stored away in an area that is less accessible. Same thing when it comes to my shoes and handbags, for example. I always make sure that the handbags that I wear on a regular basis are out on display. And things such as clutches, for example, which I would only wear to go out to like a fancy event, those are stored away somewhere where I don't reach for as often, but I know where they are. When it comes to items that you don't use as regularly, I'm gonna use the kitchen as an example because I know that a lot of people can relate to this. A lot of us have kitchen appliances such as toaster ovens and panini presses and magic bullets and all of these things that we don't use on a regular basis, but they manage to take up a bunch of counter space in our kitchens and just looks cluttered and chaotic. So I always put the kitchen appliances that I use very rarely somewhere away where you can't see them visually and they don't clutter the space. And the kitchen appliances that we do use on a regular basis, I try to make sure that these kitchen appliances also look aesthetically pleasing when they are on display. It's not always possible, but I usually have only two or three kitchen appliances out at one time. It's always my kettle. I use it on a daily basis, like two or three times a day. So that's a necessity and it would be a pain in the you know what to keep taking it in and out of storage all the time. So that one is definitely on display at all times. My toaster, which I use every single day and my Vitamix blender, which I use every single day. Everything else is not something that I use on a regular basis. So I'm okay with it being tucked away and taking it out whenever I do need it. And it makes such a big difference in how my kitchen looks and feels and it just feels a lot more spacious and organized that way. All right, you guys, so that wraps up this video. Those are my 10 tips on how to keep your home organized the right way or in a more functional way. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these home organization and decor videos. I have so much fun making them and sharing everything that I learned along the way. It's one of my newfound passions since we moved into our new home last October and I'm really excited Excited to share more content with you guys. I do have another planned video with my husband coming soon, hopefully sooner than later, which I'm really excited to share with you guys because I know how much you enjoyed my last video with him when we did my dream closet tour video. He is a wealth of knowledge and he's just so fun to film with and I'm excited to have him back on my channel. If you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, it would mean so much to me if you would follow me over there and join my community on Instagram. I share a lot of other things about motherhood, fashion, lifestyle over there. And I would just be so happy for you guys to be part of my community. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next one.